So we are just setting off from Dundee up to Inverness. We're checking into the King's Mill Hotel. Then we're going to head along to... Belladrum. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was trying to remember the name of where it is. Um, so we are heading up to Belladrum. We're running class first thing tomorrow morning. We're going to check out the events for tonight, though, before we rest up for class in the morning. Paloma, Paloma, Paloma. So 10 o'clock, catching us at the hot tent, and we're really looking forward to it. So we'll see you there. So we have just arrived at Kings Mills after getting held up quite a bit on the way up. We stopped in at House of Brewer for a comfort break and some snacks. And so now we're at the Kings Mills. This is actually weirdly the same corridor where my family and I would stay like pretty much twice a year. I know. So we come up here almost every single year. So my mum said that actually one of the, like the compere who looks after the place, um, sometimes sits in the bar at night and she met him last year and he remembered our family. <laughs> so, we'll see if he's there. I, I look a wee bit different to when I was 12, when he last saw me. No. <laughs> no, I look the exact same. I've not aged a day. So we're going to go and check out the spa, we're going to check out the pool and the gym, and then we're going to check out the restaurants. Yum. And we should probably plan what we're teaching tomorrow. So we're in Inverness, we are getting ready to go out for dinner. You can see Inverness Castle in the background and the River Ness behind us. So that way we'll take you to Loch Ness, that way we'll take you out to the North Sea. We're not going that way. We're going to be going out a wee bit west tomorrow for Belladrum. So we just finished teaching the class at Belladrum. I'll put some more snaps onto the video. We're just in the food area just now. We've got this like boat with piano on it, which is really lovely. So a lot of the food around here is like all Scottish food. So it's like Churchill venison, food from Argyle, Arran, King Cross. So yeah, there's loads of really lovely things and also a really great mix of other foods. So there's like flavors of Africa. There's like a big cur sort of Indian curry house grill, um, pizza stand, there's even like a um, a whole co-op with like a pretty much a whole shop here. So I'm just gonna walk around to like the garment area and just sort of see what everybody's selling. Did you enjoy teaching Alan? I did, it was great fun. So really receptive group. Um, a few people singing behind us. So it was really great actually, really good fun. We got people doing acro, all kinds of stuff. Fun, fun, fun. So on the way home down the A9, we pulled into Abbeymore and are now following the road to Rothy Marcus, just along, kind of like left. So if you're passing south through Abbeymore, heading left along to the Cairngorm, we're going to check out what we can see along here. Um, I know there's some really nice places to stop along here. I've done some field work around here and stayed in, I think, the next youth hostel that we're about to pass, spending a night picking ticks off of myself. Lovely. Lovely. Hopefully that won't happen today but at least there'll be some nice places along the way. So we're just looking out, driving up towards the funicular railway. We just passed like the sort of Revowin Pass, which is where I did some of my field work. Just heading up. So as we head up here, you can start to see some of the peaks of the Cairn Farms. It's really quite amazing. We just passed the exit for Cory Cass as well. Hopefully when we come around this corner, you'll start to see like the area that we're gonna go on the funicular some of this cloud up here because there's some blue skies coming. You may have to wait 20 minutes. So we have just pulled up to the Cairngorm Funicular Railway. So I've not actually not actually been here since I studied about it and actually one of the like this was such a huge cause for controversy when this was getting put through planning because people were worried that people would get off at the top and then would actually damage the ecosystem and it'd make it too easy for people to get up. And they were kind of relying on people's almost inherent laziness not to walk up there themselves. So we're going to be able to go in. I think that when we get the tickets, we are kept in inside the building at the top. So actually there is no getting out unless you do like one of the extra tours, um, which is quite a bit more expensive. So um, I expect that we'll be able to still see people outside when we're up there, but certainly all the people on the carriage will be inside. Not us. Not that's for us. Sure. Not today. We don't have time, sadly.
just come down from the funicular railway. Did you like it? Yeah, it was great. But anything you noticed when you were up there? or It was much colder up the top. It was freezing. It was absolutely freezing. A bit windswept. We've got some fans up there, though. A lot of your fans. Well, like... Let's Kilted Yoga fans. fans. Kilted Yoga people, um, which was nice. So, you know, even on the top of the Cairngorms, you meet Kilted Yoga people, which is nice. So we have finished off a long car ride with gym so we can sweat, squat and get our legs back to somewhat feeling after three hours of numb bum. <laughs> and Alan is showing you how to denumb your bum. Oh my.